Hi, my name is Christina and welcome to another Tank Love and Pearl YouTube video. Today we're going to be aquascaping my beta tank. So this is my beta Finley. He's a koi male beta and you guys actually helped name him on our Instagram. And since you guys were involved with his name, I thought why not have you guys involved in his aquascape. So this entire past week, we've been actually doing a poll on our Instagram story on what we should be putting in our aquascape. And you guys actually picked everything that we got here. So we've had Finley for about two and a half years now. I'll try to find a photo of when we first got him. So Finley is actually one of the two fish that we actually brought cross country with us from South Florida all the way to California. So this fish has actually driven around 2,700 miles. The only other fish that we brought with us was a red-tailed catfish hybrid and Finley. So this is the container that he traveled in the entire road trip and he did great. We did a water change in the morning, we did a water change in between, and we did a water change at night when we got to each Airbnb. And of course, as soon as we arrived, I actually bought this five gallon tank just for him. And don't worry, I just took him out of this tank just so I can aquascape it and get it nice and pretty for him. And then I'm gonna put him right back. He has not been living in this cup, don't worry. And if you love betas, make sure you check out the beta shirt at tanklefapparel.com. So I actually just got back from getting all the materials that you guys voted on at my local fish store. So roll the clips. All right, so now we're in our local fish store. I'm going to pick up all the things that you guys voted on on our Instagram. I feel like every, every tank, no matter if you're a beginner or an expert, like Nubius is just like such a staple and such a classic. So I definitely want to get at least one of those, maybe two. And then I was thinking about maybe one of these, I think they call it rosette. So I'm even thinking about getting one of these little uh, red temples just because I really like how I like how the color pops and it's got some like red tones and even some like lighter plant leaves and I think that'll give like a nice little contrast to the Anubias and the that's over there. This place has a lot to offer. They have so many different kinds of rocks and wood. So you can see here, but you guys chose wood. So I'm gonna go through these bins and I'm gonna see the perfect fit for the tank. So this is some of the extra beta stuff that they have. These are the hoops that I was referring to on the pole. Maybe we can add some of these later on, but they also even have this little beta mirror that I considered putting in there. So we're at Home Depot right now. And the reason why I came here is because I want to get the play sand. The reason why I like doing that is because I get so much, like the bags come in 50 pounds yeah. per bag. And it's super, super, it's super, super affordable, which is great because then you get to use it for multiple projects and multiple aquariums. So now that we're aquascaping, I need the right attire. All right, this is much better. This is a Tank Life Apparel aquascaping shirt. If you love aquascaping, this is the perfect shirt for you. And if you know someone who loves aquascaping, this makes a great gift. We also have our aquascaper bracelet. It's double-sided, so it's like having two bracelets in one. You can put it on and it's machine washable too, so it doesn't matter if you get dirty. So get the whole collection at tanklifeapparel.com. So we're gonna start with a substrate, which you guys picked, sand. I already washed this and rinsed this out. I love using play sand. I use it in all my tanks that I have sand. It's very affordable for how much you get. You can get this at Home Depot, Lowe's, all those places. So next for decorations, you guys picked wood. So I picked this one because I really liked how much structure it had and it has like a lot of places for him to swim through. And the best thing about aquascaping is it doesn't matter if you've been doing this for years or this is your first time aquascaping. Aquascaping's for everybody. Now I got my plants nice and rinsed and I have a little bit of an assortment. I can always add more later. So to start off, I actually have a Nubius here. And it's funny because that's the plant that we put on our aquascape shirt. One thing that I've been told to do is to never really put the, the roots into the substrate to kind of leave it out. So what I'm going to do is I have these little pieces of wood and I'm gonna glue them to it so it keeps it down. And the reason why I chose wood is so it keeps with the theme of the wood in this tank. But you can also glue it to any kind of rock or any other structure that you have in your tank. So the best way to attach any kind of plant to your wood or rock is by using some super glue. They're great because they're aquarium safe and they dry instantly with water. Are these not good anymore? Okay, so all the super glue that we are going to use actually dried out and I don't have any more, but we're not gonna be deterred. I'm gonna move to plan B. We're gonna use fishing line. Tie it nice and snug. Not on here. 
So I tied them down to the wood and they're really nice and snug on there. They're not coming off and you can't really tell where the line is because it's clear line. So I'm just gonna drop one here and I'm gonna drop one here. So now with these other plants, I'm actually going to dig them in. I'm thinking, let's see, I might start with this one. I think there's a little bit more room here and I'd like to put these, make a little hole for them. Make it all look nice, Ooh, put a little leaf though. And, and this one I'm gonna put in the back. I think that'll be pretty cool and it'll grow nicely back here. Okay, and we're almost done. The last thing you guys chose was a beta leaf hammock. So this you just insert here, it's a little leaf. I think I'm gonna put it on this side. This is definitely the prettiest aquascape I think I've ever made. So thank all of you guys who uh, participated in the Instagram poll and helped scape this tank. I think you guys did an excellent job. You made one heck of a selection. Everything looks so pretty. It all came together so beautifully and so nicely. So thank you guys. I highly suggest if you want to see more projects like this, follow our Instagram because we do a lot of things like this. I'll put his heater on the other side. It's nice because all the wood and the plants, they cover all this. Thank you so much for watching and Finley thanks you for picking out his aquascape. Rate this aquascape, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also get your aquascape gear at tankcliffapparel.com. We have so many projects and so many different kinds of videos that we want to make in the future. So make sure you're subscribed. Also in the next video, I'm going to make sure I get a clip of Finley using his little beta leaf hammock. So you're not going to want to miss that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.